In this Cisco Tech Talk, we'll discuss how to enable the embedded probe on the CBS 250 and CBS 350 series switches. The first thing you'll need to do is log into the switch by using your username and password, and then click on Login. Make sure you are in the advanced configuration, which you can see here. Now scroll down and choose Security. Then scroll down again to Certificate Settings and choose that. Then select CA Certificate Settings. This is where you will import the certificate from the Cisco Business Dashboard. You need to import the certificate from the dashboard in case the Cisco Business Dashboard you are connecting has a self-signed certificate on it. If the Cisco Business Dashboard uses a certificate signed by a trusted certificate authority, then you need not do this step. Open Cisco Business Dashboard and enter your username and password and click Login. Navigate to the Network menu and note the network and organization name where you are planning to connect the switch embedded probe. Write it down or copy it into a notepad as you will need that in a little bit. From here, go to System and then choose Certificate. Now scroll down and click Download. Note the IP address here and write it down or copy it into a notepad as you will need that in a little bit. And then save file and click OK. Next, you will need to get the access key ID and access key secret. To do so, go back to the menu and choose administration and then users. Once in here, go ahead and click on admin. Scroll down and select generate access key. Enter in a description. I'll use cbd underscore 2.3.0 underscore new. You can also specify the expiration date or choose never. I'll just leave it as the default and click save. This generates an access key ID and secret. Make sure to either write these down or copy and paste them because you will need them shortly. Also, the access key list does not display secrets in plain text for security reasons. So this is the only opportunity you have to record the secret. If you lose or forget the access key secret, you will have to revoke the access key and generate a new one. Now you need to go back into the switch. Click on the plus symbol under the CA certificate table. Here, you need to name the certificate. I'll use CBD underscore 2.3.0. You can use whatever certificate name you want, but make sure there are no spaces within its name. Then you will need the certificate itself. Go ahead and open the file you downloaded to a notepad. Scroll down to where it says Begin Certificate and highlight the entire section. Be sure to include the Begin Certificate and End Certificate. Then copy this using your keyboard or mouse and paste it into the certificate section here and click Apply. A green checkbox will appear indicating success, and you can now go ahead and close out of this window. Now scroll up and click Administration and select Cisco Business Dashboard Settings. Click Enable next to Probe Operation. You can change the logging threshold. For this, I'll use Information. Scroll down and click Enable next to Dashboard Connection. Now enter in the organization name which I have as cbd underscore 2.3.0, as well as the network name, which will be cbd underscore 2.3.0 underscore probe underscore new, which is the same as the one you wrote down or copied from earlier. Next, enter the IP address for the Cisco Business Dashboard, which is the same as the one you wrote down or copied earlier. You may also use the by name option in case you have the domain name of the Cisco Business Dashboard. Now you will need the access key ID and secret you also wrote or copied earlier. The values we are configuring here on the switch embedded probe come from the Cisco Business Dashboard, so we need to match the values. Go ahead and enter those here, then click on Apply. You should see a green checkbox, again indicating it was successful, and you will notice the probe status has now changed to active. Now to save the configuration, go up to the floppy disk icon and click on it. When you refresh the page, you will now see the dashboard status as connected. And that's all there is to it. 
That's how you enable an embedded probe on the CBS 250 and CBS 350 series switches. Thanks for watching this Cisco Tech Talk. We'll see you next time.